The Ministry of Education and Sports plans to engage in a Kaseke leadership in particular. The district chairperson, Ignatius Komu Chiwanuka, over concern of an apparent humanization of teachers in the district. If the LC5 chairperson is a teacher himself, let him first sit for those examinations. Let him be subjected because he could have used professional teachers to handle matters of the teachers. That is what we are advocating for. Early this week, Komu compelled primary teachers to sit last year's mock exams in line with the subjects they teach. Failure rates in the districts have over the years alarmed Komu, who believes the performance of the teachers in the exams will provide a clue on whether they are the source of the dismal performance. He first issued the threat to subject the teacher to the exams five years ago. We were in agreement that the teachers should be checked on. How do we check on them? By giving them the very same examination which these people, the P7 pupils, see. If they make it, then we shall know the problem comes from elsewhere. In his plan, those who fail will be taken through a refresher course. Kaduchu and the Secretary General of Uganda National Teachers Union, Philbert Baguma, have condemned Komu. That is uncalled for. Morally, it is not needed. It's going to demoralize our teachers, it's going to demotivate our teachers, and it is going to actually worsen the performance of the children. So if he continues like this, we shall swing into action and he will not believe it. He is only making the bad situation worse. Kaduchu says poor performance by learners cannot entirely be blamed on teachers. They argue that Komu's conduct undermines the rigorous recruitment process by the public service before deploying teachers to various schools. Because education should not be politicized. I am waiting to see where he is going to take these exams for marking and where he will take the results and the effect these results will have. There are questions regarding the policy framework Komu, the political head of Nagasaki district, may have used to subject the teachers to examinations. The district local government, by mandate, they are entitled to bring on board initiative that can improve the quality of education by the policy of decentralization. But if they bring in bylaws, the bylaws should first be approved by the Solicitor General. It has to go through the processes for approval to ensure that whatever initiative they bring on board does not demotivate the society. In the recently released PLE results, out of the 4,800 learners who sat the exams in Nakaseke, 610, who represent 12%, passed in Division 1, 2,700, equivalent to 58%, passed in Division 2, while 6% of the learners failed. The performance in Nakaseke is better than Kalaki District, which had 17 of the learners representing 0.8%, passing in Division 1, or Abim, which had 28 learners representing 1.9%, passing in Division 1. Jackson Onyango. NTV. Always being here when they invite you to come. Thank you so much.